Okay, I'm going to say hello again uh, because I think perhaps I am live now. Um, but one can never be sure when one is playing with new technology or technology technology that one doesn't necessarily understand. I am looking for me on this page, on my page, everything. Oh, I think I found it. Okay, okay, I think I'm live. I think I'm really live. <laughs> Uh, let me just see if I can make this move because this morning wasn't moving very well either. And now it seems like it is super slow. So I'm going to continue. Uh, and if you are watching, I hope it will stream at proper speed, shall we say? Okay. Yeah. It says I'm live. I see me moving. Hopefully it's all good. I'm going to continue. So welcome, everybody. This is Pratt's Thought. Uh, and hopefully you are on the Great Stamping with Connie business page. And hopefully you see the video. Um, it There seems to be a huge lag, though. And I don't, I don't know if it's my stuff, but it doesn't seem to be spooling very quickly. So anyway, I'm just going to continue for now. And hopefully <laughs> I have Pratt's Thought somewhere. Let's just put this down here and uh, see what we can do. Okay, so, whew, uh, deep breath. Yes, this past weekend, we had our online global retreat. It, uh, it involved uh, the global crafters who you may have heard about, may have uh, crafted with, uh, Terry, from the United States, Sarah from Australia, and Louise from the UK and I. And we worked together to bring uh, two online retreats to you each year. So we just did the February one. The next one will be uh, possibly July, certainly sometime over the summer will be the next one. But again, we had an awesome weekend. It was so much fun. We had such great uh people joining us to craft and share what they had crafted and some phenomenal projects uh, have been shared on our group Facebook page. So just a marvelous time. We did presentations and people had make and take packages and goodie boxes. And, you know, it was, it was a full on retreat <laughs> for two days. And uh, we started with a kickoff the day before and we ended with an after party the things that we did on Zoom. And so if you didn't attend this past one, but you would like to learn more about the next one, you can reach out to me anytime. But the easiest way to make sure you are notified of everything that's going on around that is to join my mail list. And then you will certainly receive notices about upcoming events, such as uh, our online retreat. Okay, so uh, something that we do during that is we we show you how to make the make and take that we've sent for each of the sessions. And then we also show you some other things to give you different inspiration, different crafting ideas, tips, tricks, whole nine yards. And so we usually have one main set and one one or two additional sets. So this time we did two additional sets. Um, so our main set this time was Thoughts and Expressions, which just a, is a beautiful uh, bundle available in the mini catalog. But then my second set was Cheerful Daisies. And that is from the annual cup. So I, uh, I did a make and take with the Cheerful Daisies. And then I showed some additional things and some tips and tricks for doing things uh, with the careful daisy set and, uh, and so on. And we also had uh, sponge daubers. We put sponge daubers in the goodie bag and so then we were we each showed a number of different things that you could do with sponge daubers. So uh, one of them was to uh, do two-tone stamping. So that is uh, one color of ink on my stamp, and then I used a sponge dauber to add a second color. 
and I did that on the leaves and on these flowers. So that was my, uh, <laughs> that was one of my uh, demonstrations. And I didn't finish that card, so I thought I could finish that today. <laughs> Here's a couple uh, things from Cheerful Daisies. And one of the things that I showed there that can be helpful at any time is if you have a die cut and a stamp, but you don't, uh, you don't have the dies, you just have the die cut. The easiest way, generally, <laughs> to stamp on it is to have it upside down and ink up your stamp, put your paper down on there. And then I like to use another block so it's nice and hard and flat. Press down. And then you have your stamp on there and you get it usually um, very, very close. Not always, you know, <laughs> mistakes can happen, but generally it is a relatively easy way to get your stamp on your die cut. I find it easier to do it this way than to try and get my stamp down onto the die cut a lot of times, especially, and it's not too bad with the photopolymers, but if you are using red rubber, it's, uh, it's a real guessing game as to where where you need to be to get the uh, the stamp in the right place on your die cut. So flipping it all upside down is a great way uh, to have, I'm going to say, great success almost all the time. No, <laughs> the world is not a perfect place, but, you know, often, often you will. And I'm doing, oh, I was going to say, I'm doing two of these because I had a third. There it is. I had one already that uh, done previously. And then I thought I couldn't find it. And I only had two again, but I do have three. Now this one, um, this one's easier if you can look right over top. And that's a little tricky when I'm on camera. But we'll see. Oh, it looks pretty good. Let's see if I can do that twice. tricky to see but see what we get oh I don't know. well it put pink everywhere so because it's a light color it's okay it's a little bit over the lines but that's uh, so why I use really low for the outline and bubble back to fill in and then uh, there's also a center for these guys so there. and that will be relatively <laughs> because it's right in the middle. I should be able to do that. It just. Uh, I can't remember what I used over here. I think I used one a lot of twist. And it won't like me. It'll just be. Uh, a flower center, so. Here we go. Now I had thought about finishing this card, but I didn't really uh, bring any other pieces for this. So I may not actually finish that one even yet. Eventually, some of my pieces get used up. Um, you know how we've talked about those bits. <laughs> yes, these might become more bits for a little while. Until I pull the card base and the background. Something to finish it off. But I did pull out a few things to finish off a card with these pieces. So this one's something that I had die cut for um, something else. This is one of those bits that was sitting on my table. And... Uh, I also have this, which I did prepare. So I actually did do a little bit of work. So I was thinking I would just put this, this, and this. Just kind of 
to create a little, a little, a little something, <laughs> a little something, something. I think I might actually turn that outwards a little bit. So, and it will be okay if this flows over the edge because uh, this piece is obviously much smaller than the large piece. So, I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive and I'm not going to put any on the top or this corner so that it can hang over the edge a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of set that right about there. You may have noticed, this is why I did not put, uh, I didn't press it down, okay? So I did put glue on it and I did lay it down, but I didn't press it at all. There, I just made it wiggle. So uh, I did that because I kind of want to get these all in place and see, see what I see, see what we think for uh, where we need to stay. Press it down. Completely. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to flip that over now and give it a nice press on the back. Okay. And then I have. Oh, oh here we go. Okay. I'm sure I've got card bases. So I am just going to use a thick basic white card base for this card. I have lots of lots of colors already, so I'm just going to keep this kind of simple and straightforward. Our thick white cardstock is beautiful for card bases, so I tend to get a package of it and score and cut the little thing. Lots of card bases ready and waiting to go. So, so I'm messing this up one a little bit. Okay, let me just give that a little different squish. There we go. Then I think I am going to pop this up. Oh, okay, so now here we go. Here's where <laughs> we need to make a few decisions, right? Can pop that up. And then I have some little sentiment pieces because I wasn't sure what I was going to do for sentiment. I have happy, happy birthday. This is from the translucent florals. And I have hope, hope your date is a happy one. That is from uh, So Sincere. Let's just see what I have. And I have, have some white pieces. Will this fit? I don't think. Oh, not quite. This is the uh, perennial postage dies in action, but that's one of the square ones, one of the rectangles, and it would fit on here. I don't know that I want something quite that large, so I think I'll go with a smaller sentiment for this card. Could do that. I do. Then the happy birthday on this looks a little bit. A little bit too small, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, do I have any other happy birthday stuff? I don't know that I have any. I, uh, this so sincere has a happy birthday, but it's a vertical. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. I don't think that one's going to work. Kind of a cool thought, but uh, okay, will it fit onto here? I have something. What else? What else do I have sitting on my table here? I often have little bits and pieces. Actually, you know what I have is my bin with a number of little bits and pieces that uh, I just gather because I plan to use them and then I don't, and so they just get tossed in here, waiting for. And then I need them. So that one. That's not Maybe that. That might work. 
Anything else in here that catches my eye? Um, just from the double oval. I'm not positive. Oh, happy birthday would fit in there. You could do that right there. Yes, that's the one. See, it, when you play with things long enough, eventually something just kind of clicks. Often. <laughs> I will say often. Not always. It's not. Uh, not guaranteed. Now, what color do we want for our ink? Maybe that one color? This is Highland Heaven's background, and I lost that one. So, oh, well, I seem to have some cat fur in this ink. Not ideal. getting me totally inky of course it's not likely to happen <laughs> yes oh look at that <laughs> yes i now have a lot of purple ink under my fingernail that was perhaps the wisest thing. anyway let's take this off of here in case i miss and if i mess up i do have two sides but after that i don't think i have any more of this shape ready to go so you know what? I'm just going to pull this down a little bit so I can get a little better view on it. Excuse my head, please. Okay, that worked. <laughs> so apologize. I think I may have put the back of my head into your picture or into your viewing area, but we got a nice, uh, a nice image out of it. So. I wonder if I can use my shape to clean my fingernail a little bit. Mostly I will talk about later. Okay, so I am going to glue this guy down to my card base. Put him down flat. Then I think I'm going to pop up both the other pieces of the my main focal piece as well as my center piece. Using liquid glue here, not necessarily because it's a narrow border, but because it is embossed. I just want to make sure we get adhesive into all the little nooks and crannies that are created by embossing. So that is usually my adhesive of choice when I Done and lost. Okay. So I might as well put some on here while I'm at it. Okay. And then we will get this onto our card. Now, did we like that? Should have uh, should have double checked. I think I liked it on the angle. This is nice, but I just kind of think I like it. On an angle, which is unusual for me, right? <laughs> you know me, but uh, anyway, I'm going to give it a go. I did forget to say Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I was so uh, so worried about trying to figure out all the technology stuff. I forgot <laughs> that it's Happy Heart Day, <laughs> and it's uh, Galentine's Day. So Happy Hearts to all my gal friends. However you are celebrating, I hope you have a good one. <laughs> I saw something uh, <laughs> kind of cute on Facebook earlier today. It said, um, oh, don't feel sad if you don't have a Valentine. You probably didn't have a, a groundhog on Groundhog Day either. <laughs> it made me laugh <laughs> because uh, you're right. I did not have a groundhog for Groundhog Day. And I was totally okay with that. <laughs> okay. And now we need, a, of course, we need some gems. So we have, uh, these are the rainbow adhesive fact gems. And we have, I'm pretty sure, oh, that's fresh free gems. Uh, yes, fresh free gems. But we do have bubble bath that we could use on paper. Or... What else do we have in our box of fun things? Oh, we have these. These are the 
purple fine shimmer gems. So they are a little bit blacker than some of our gems, which is nice if you are male. But in here we have, if we have uh, the very first, and that's gorgeous great and highlight heaven. So, oh, these are so. <laughs> I like the Highland Heather, but I don't know if they'll show up enough on the Highland Heather. Could use Gorgeous Grey. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a tough sell, eh? <laughs> or I could just stick with the berry first. Keep it keep it with the pinks. Oh, too many decisions. Okay, we're gonna go with berry first. Did you see how I just flipped from gorgeous grape to berry first? Neither did I. It just sort of happened. <laughs> the actual set, you know, probably any of them would work and be lovely. Because they just add a little pretty shimmer. And there we have it. One card. Done. <laughs> Let's see if I can get through another thing. I do have uh, I do have some more things started because uh this was from this was from my first demonstrations, and then in my second demonstration. So this one we used daughters to add a second color to our stamp, and then in the second demonstration, I did a couple of different things. One of which was to make a background with daubers, so that you can probably tell those circles are just dauber circles. And then I also shared uh, using the paper butterfly accents. So if you haven't seen these, these are uh, sheets of die cut butterflies. You get eight sheets in a package and there's five butterflies on each sheet. And sometimes they kind of stick together and I'll probably never get that other sheet back in. <laughs> Look, it didn't come all the way out. It's so they are, they're not really delicate, but they do have um, little antennae and things, which is why I was trying to keep them in the packaging. There we go. Mostly. <laughs> it's catching up some, but that's okay. It's mostly back in. So, it's a sheet of butterflies, and they just punch out, and you can use them just in the white, or you can add color to them. And so I added color to them, to one of them, uh, using sponge daubers. And so I ended up with this guy. So this is boho blue and blueberry bushel that I used on. And then I have die cut a piece of lemon lolly. A die cut piece of lemon lolly because I was thinking I would put this on here. It's not the same colors, but I was kind of thinking it would work. Uh, but what I will share with you is when you, to make this, if you put this on a piece of uh, white cardstock to do your daubing, like that. So I laid the butterfly down here. I did my job and I just held it with my finger. And then when I lift it off, I have the negative of the butterfly as well. So you get you get a two for deal. And this one I think should probably go on something in well, maybe, maybe blueberry first. And it could be lemon at the end. Blueberry and lemon is lovely together. Boho and <laughs> blueberry is lovely. Boho. Almost anything. Oh, hard to say. And this probably would need to be embossed just to add a little something to it. So maybe we'll just put this guy together. Now, when I put, now the other thing you can do with this, oh, 
if I could find it, because I used it on some of my butterflies. That's my wink of Stella. Oh, it's in the back here. Of course. I thought it was in the front bin, and I didn't see it there. So, wink of Stella, if you have some, um, treasure it, because it's on the back order right now. But I do still have this one. So I'm just going to paint my butterfly with my wink of Stella. And you can add, uh, you know, shimmer in a number of ways. You can take that. You can use embossing powder. Even some non-stampin' up products, but if you just want some beautiful shimmer, Wink of Stella is a great way to add it. And it's so easy. You just brush it on. It is difficult to show on camera. Let's see if I can. Can you see? It does it looks a little different than it used to. Hopefully you can see something at least different. It is shimmer. In real life, it is just beautiful shimmer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, and it's curling this way because, or sorry, it's curling this way because I um, put something liquid on that side. Just, but it's probably dry. It does dry quite quickly. I'm just going to kind of curl this up this way. Just very gently because this is just paper. <laughs> and, uh, but just, and I'm going to glue this just uh, it's like a change, probably there, just on his body or in this area. This is going to be the only place that I'm going to put my glue. And I'm using liquid glue because this is very tiny. So just in this area, I've gone out the wings ever so slightly, just to make sure I get a good hold. <laughs> just going to put that about there. And then he will just flutter off of the page a little bit. Okay, now if it's going into a, uh, an envelope and into the mail, it will flatten, but then you can just sort of lift it once again. Okay. Let's finish this. So this piece is three and three quarters by five. And I have, oh, I cut a piece for a layer. Uh, but clearly, that's not the right size. So I do have my orchid oasis here. So I'm going to adjust another layer, and I think I'm going to make this layer full size. So three and three quarters, I'm going to go to five and a quarter. Five, four. Okay. There we go. And now this will be, uh, you know, standard, standard size. Don't remember I wanted it small. I can always trim it down though. So <laughs> when in doubt, start with it uh, a little bit bigger because you can always make it smaller. So, but if you cut it too small and then you decide you want it larger, guess what? <laughs> you, you have to get another piece of card stuck out. But I'm not entirely convinced is whether these colors work. <laughs> not, I'm not sure actually now. So I, I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should find something else to put on there. Uh, 
what else do I have around? Do I have anything else? I have this, uh, I have this hummingbird. I have to finish coloring him. <laughs> what else do I have? I have a couple of other hummingbirds. Actually, I have this hummingbird. Uh, this was for, I stamped it for one of the cards and then I didn't end up using it. And I painted him with Wink of Stella. I don't know. This one I tried to show the other day on camera and it didn't, it was really difficult to show. So that, uh, that guy could go on there and I could do that with this. If I had, I had a punch. <laughs> Oh, if only I had a punch. You know what? I could grab one of my circle punches that I have handy. Oh my gosh, I don't have my fancy dies down here. But this might not see what we do. I stood up for half a second. Whoop. And Oscar took my chair. Okay, two and a half inch circle punch. This is, this is Orchid Oasis again. And if we put this onto here, that would work. And then we could put that onto there and add a sentiment. Might work, okay? Eh? Do we think? Of what we want for sentiment. Peace, that might be a little more. But again, I have a few of those in here. At least I did. <laughs> Maybe one of these guys. Okay. And can we hope our game is a happy one in this piece? Ooh, so tight. I don't think that's going to fit. Uh, am I? <laughs> Just uh, because I would like to use that. But something tells me that this is not. I'm just going to throw this piece of uh, scrap paper underneath to catch any excess in. Now, hmm, well, we'll see. Let's see if I can get it on here straight. Center it straight. I'm going to pull this down again. Apologies. Just to. Okay. So it does fit. We'll go with that. I do like that sentiment. Such a lovely one. Hope your day is a happy one. I mean, that's what we wish for everyone, is it not? All the time. <laughs> we want everyone to have, have a happy day, but especially today. Because here we are together. And it's day. And because I said so. Okay, so I'm going to put him onto some uh, blue later. But for now, let's put this guy together. So Orchid Oasis is one of the 22 to 24 in colors. So that means at the end of April, it will retire. So if this is uh, one of the colors that you enjoy crafting with, you should probably scoop an extra pack of cardstock now. <laughs> the in-color products tend to sell out very quickly as we move towards their retirement. So there's your there's your warning, okay? Fair warning. Uh, <laughs> get some now. Okay, I'm going to pop this guy up on dimensionals, and I'm also going to put my sentiment on with dimensionals. Okay, and then we'll put the circle. Black on. Yes, 
He's not. Uh, he's just sort of hovering, isn't he? <laughs> Is that okay? I know hummingbirds can hover like that. <laughs> we'll put the sentiment on the side. And then be like this. Pointing us to our message. I, but I put the sentiment on the other side. Part, so just, uh, you know, mixing it up. Leave them up, maybe. Centered, give or take. Okay, now, uh, oh, what do I have? I not. Hmm. I have a decent little one, but I think we have. Okay, so I'm going to have it. Yes, look, look, we have in color gems. And Look, we have Orchid Oasis right there. So we're going to use those because they are beautiful. As soon as we find our take your pick tool. There we go. Okay. So look at these beautiful colors. Uh, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. Those are the in colors that we'll be retiring in April. So as I mentioned, if you like crafting with these, get them now <laughs> because they will sell out. I don't know what I want. Three on Maybe. Oh, look, it's my helper. <laughs> Sorry, that's Oscar. Uh, Oscar, okay. You really, I don't, I don't need your help with this part. I'm good, honest. What do we think? Do we need any more bling? Probably not. We have shimmer on the. We have gems on the center. He won't get to that. Uh, come on, baby. Okay. Uh, I'd let you stay, but it's hard for me to move. Hard for me to talk. Hard for me to do anything, and I know you don't really care about that, but uh, anyway, we're almost done. Okay, there we go. Just, I think I can come back in here. <laughs> this is all sort of new. I hope, uh, where are we? Spotlight. There we go. Yes, and here is Oscar. He has decided he is going to join me. Uh, Oscar, look at the camera. Over here. Look, over here. <laughs> nope. He's a cat. He's going to kind of do his thing, isn't he? <laughs> but he is a sweetie, and I do love him. I just don't need his help all the time. So, anyway. That is Craft Spot for today. So, a little bit of a peek into some of the things that we did at our online global retreat. A couple new cards that I've shared. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really hope it's live. <laughs> And I hope that you can watch the replay. I'll double check for that when I uh, finish up here. But hopefully I've got this kind of sort of figured out. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. Please leave me a comment. And let me know that you found this and uh, that you were able to watch it. And I hope to craft with you all again really soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.